exist? Father, a barrier in our mosque? No way. The women already play behind the men. Isn't that enough? Hockey board? I got a deal from the old rig. From what I hear, nothing separates men from women like hockey night in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. Leave that alone! <laughs> you stop that! Well, come on! <laughs> Two minutes for interference. Come on. She's the one who's interfering. The Grand Mosque in Mecca doesn't have a barrier. She's interfering. A barrier is essential. You're both interfering. I'm the Imam. I decide. Of course. Of course. Take it down! Absolutely not! Women distract men from their prayers! Oh, that is such a lame excuse! You see? Women are a distraction. I wasn't distracted. Father, admit it, because you're wrong! Well, what do you mean you're not distracted? All right, boys and girls. This is a contentious issue. Barber, you can't just decide this on your own. Finally, an enlightened male voice running our mosque. Don't listen to this feminist. She is trying to distract you. Let me weigh both sides and get back to the congregation. Great. So help me take the stand. Now, until I make my decision, the barrier stays. <laughs> Three seconds of male enlightenment. That's a new record. Sweetheart, I tip for the look it, not the cook it. Would it kill you, Muslim gal, to show a little cleavage moment? Would it kill you if I hit you with a cleaver? <laughs> Would you talk like that on your radio show? You bet you're working, darling. Controversy pays. Well, ladies, the men are at it again. Father is putting up a barrier in the mosque. That man seriously needs a sex life. The barrier gives women privacy, too. So put the men behind the barrier. Please, you're talking like a fanatic. Oh, well, finally, I fit in. This is not the place to discuss this. So, I, uh, I was right, huh? Islam is a sexist religion. Mm. <laughs> Only when it's run by men. Well, so why don't you come on the show this afternoon and talk it up? Always happy to champion a good-looking underdog. Yeah. She can't. It is forbidden for women, for women to speak on the radio. It is? It's in the Quran. Oh, right. It is. Chapter 115. Verse 42. It's... Huh. Figures. Well, you know where to find me. Radio 660 to freeze. Um. <laughs> Ow! What kind of thing? Matt! I need to talk to you about something important. Feel important? A teenage important. Are schools having a... No dances. I got my degree without one cent to shake my booty. <laughs> it's his booty. And as far as dance, it's a 10K run. They're raising money for the new hockey rink. Raising money for charity. That's very Islamic, right? I'll be with all my friends, who are all girls. Surrounded by boys. What would you be wearing to this social event? I'll wear something appropriate. Please, can I go? Please, please. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I know, I know. Yasser's office, now. Yasser, you are a contractor. We need your help installing a barrier. No, a the barrier? The whole world. Get your head out of your business for two minutes and think like a Muslim. A barrier for the prayer hall. Guys, the men and women have been praying together in my basement for years. Now that you've got us a proper mosque, in a church, mind you, we need to set a proper example. Go talk to Omar. Mm. Leave mm. me out of this. I can't imagine a man wants a barrier, or the majority of the women for that matter. Well, the majority of the men do want a barrier, and without our substantial financial contributions, the mosque will close. And so does your free office space. 
I have a hole in my schedule right now. Allah be praised. <laughs> Lord of all mankind. For centuries, man has tried that. Try saying people instead of man in your sermon. It's controversial. So, you've seen the barrier. Come on. Make this easy on yourself. Keep the barrier. Obama will say the new to me. It has no theological validity. Get theology. It's a scientific fact that men get distracted with women around. But the women pray behind the men. Even when a woman is behind the man, he knows she's there. <laughs> Darling, I didn't see you come in. Always such a pleasure to see the mayor. Oh, I'm sorry for distracting you. Uh, believe me, you're a welcome distraction. Amar, I'd love to get your congregation support for the new hockey rink. It's a wonderful idea. Well, the mayor would like to speak after prayers on Friday. You're always welcome. Thanks. Friday? This Friday? Mm -hmm. Oh, the short notice might put us up against the wall. Do you follow Amar? <laughs> I don't want the mayor to be bored. Is there a problem, Yasser? No problem, ladies. We'll see you on Friday. Trust me, Brandy, it's like war. You start off with shock and awe, and then you work your way up to reasonable compromise. I know what I'm doing. So? Stuff for a lie. I can see the belly button. You look like a Protestant. Don't you mean prostitute? No, I meant Protestant. Have your bosoms grown? Now you look like a rapper. I'm totally covered. It is modestly modest. But you don't have to cover your hair. Not until you start your menses. Dad, don't gross me out. So, we're good? Too much attention on your bottom. They're the only ones I have. I'll buy you something new. Go change. Dad, I can't believe you're shouting with bottom. Yeah. You see, Men get distracted by women. It's the same everywhere. Well, maybe men could wear those cones that they put on dogs, you know, so they can't lick themselves. That's right. Yeah. If you were men, you would understand how complicated this is. No, if I was a man, I, I wouldn't make it this complicated. That's right. Oh. Okay, I have to get to the clinic. But once I'm gone, just imagine that after everything Mom says, I am saying, that's right. Thank you. Love you. Graham has gone. We have the house to ourselves. We can't have a barrier. No, you have to convince Amar to take it down. Use your charm. Yes. Why waste it on Amar? Well, Let's continue this discussion upstairs. You will talk to Amar. Yes. And you'll do it before the mayor comes to the mosque on Friday? Oh. Let's not rock the boat. Look, when you run a contracting business, uh -huh. you tend to have to deal with men. Wives have a lot of influence when it comes to home rentals too, darling. It's men who write the checks. Oh. Ah. Do you have any idea how insulting this barrier is to me? Hmm? Rian's gone out. We don't have to talk Muslim politics 24 hours a day. You're not going to do this for me, are you? No. But don't take it personally. <sighs> You're right. You're right. Let's stick to the facts. Barriers between men and women are a great idea. I'm so glad that you see it this way. Yeah, I do. I do. And you know what makes a wonderful barrier? Our bedroom door. Before we go, I'd like to introduce a very special guest.